Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. Have you ever felt sad that you could not use Google's free TPU either on Google Colab or Kaggle Notebook to its full potential? Let's say that you have got an NLP task where you have to train a lot of text or you want to use a model and then fine tune that model. But all you can do is use GPU but not TPU because maybe you don't have enough boilerplate code or probably you don't know how to exactly do that. If you are somebody who was like that, this is for you because Hugging Face recently released a library called Accelerate. As the name suggests, it helps you take your existing PyTorch training script and then port it to different devices. For example, you can take your existing code, make very little modification and then move it to GPU uh, or multi GPU to be specifically or you can use it on TPU as well and then in this video, we are going to see a very small example of how you can make that change and then run your machine learning task or to be specific uh, NLP task using Hugging Face library on Google Colab leveraging its TPU. So let's get started. So first of all, this is the library Hugging Face Accelerate. So if you look at the library, it's quite like literally very easy to do anything on this live using this library if you want to see what are the changes that you have to do imagine that you have got your pytorch script where um, you know so you have got a uh, script where you usually say cpu is your device you are loading um, uh, the model then you are loading an optimizer then you are loading the data set then you have a data loader to you know manage multiple devices and then you have got a training function Within the training function, you're going to use all these things that you just loaded. So this is how your typical PyTorch script for training would look like. And these are the, the green the green lines that you see. These are the very few changes that you have to do. So first, you need to save from Accelerate, Import Accelerator. Accelerator is the class that gets you uh, to do Accelerate. So you initiate it. You don't need the device value. You don't need that. So then you have to set the device. Uh, accelerated or device once that is done then you have to simply use accelerator dot prepare so it's going to help you take your existing model optimizer and data and then it is going to allocate for different machine so if you imagine tpu which is tensor processing unit you've got a lot of different machines and then you want your code to make sure that it can allocate uh, the model and data to different machines and it manages everything so that is what this accelerator is actually doing it for you and within finally um, within your uh, training function what you have to do is you have to specify accelerator dot backward loss instead of you know simply uh, loss uh, backward so in, it, instead of you know just defining this you just have to define so you change you make very little change like, a, like let's say like four lines of changes load the library uh, initiate um, uh, the class and then uh, specify the device and then when uh, you have to prepare the uh, device um, the modeling then you specify there and within your uh, um, the, finally for loss you specify the uh, accelerator uh, the loss value and all these are usually specified within your training function and as you can see uh, this is what uh, their pitch is right so very easily their pitches this is very easily take your existing training loop of your pytorch model uh, and uh, make very little changes to your code like uh, leave the rest of your code unchanged very little change to your code and then use the existing code on multi gpu or tpu wherever you want to use i'm going to quickly show you the example that they have given so they have given an example here so you can go to their uh, repository which i would describe link on the youtube description you can check it out um, for using it on collab so after you define everything uh, you can actually launch your training directly from your notebook and they have got a very simple function for that so let's say like you have made the changes like we discussed just now uh, with all the four things and after you do that change then you can just use notebook launcher and you are going to actually do training using your notebook on uh, google's tpu uh, via either kaggle notebook or google collab so there are a couple of reasons why you should use accelerate why you shouldn't use accelerate if you want to write the training loop yourself like let's say like you want to have that kind of customization there are a lot of libraries like let's say pytorch lightning that can offer you uh, that kind of customization where you can you can uh, write it yourself then accelerate is not for you or uh, 
to be specific hugging face accelerator is not for you if you why do you want to use hugging face accelerator let us say that you have got a pytorch script pytorch uh, let's say to be specific uh, a training script a loop and uh, you want to use a multi gpu or tpu but you don't want to make a lot of changes like you don't want to learn a new library or you don't want to do all those things right so if you want to just take existing code and then make sure that it can run on multi gpu or tpu without changing a lot of things on your code or learning a new library like let's say pytorch learning then accelerator is for you so uh, the way you install accelerate is very simple pip install accelerate and uh, accelerate has a couple of uh, integration cpu only single gpu and multiple gpu with one node multiple gpu with multiple nodes several nodes and then tpu which is what we are most interested in this video we're going to see fp16 with uh, native amp so google collab gives you gpu and uh, cpu gpu and tpu so now because of course uh, tpu is the most powerful um, at least you know something that we don't use normally um, we are going to see how to do that on uh, C G uh, tpu so let's get started so this is exactly the same notebook this is not my own notebook so that's something that i would like to highlight so let me just go to the other tab and then show you so this this notebook is simply about taking hugging face transformers library and using hugging face data set and performing a machine nlp task i just keep on saying machine learning i'm sorry performing an nlp task especially training or fine tuning on google collab tpu so basically you are actually getting you are you you are able to use or leverage the existing tpu that google collab gives you for free to accelerate as the name suggests to accelerate your training process so it might have taken a lot of i'm not doing a benchmarking here but uh, you know that's something that i'm also interested in how much time it used to take on gpu and how much time it it takes currently on tpu that's something that um, that is definitely useful especially given that um, accelerate makes it really really easy but uh, what we are going to see in this video is use data set hugging face data set use hugging face transformers for uh, performing an nlp task and uh, then um, use accelerate and then import your existing python training loop code training script or sorry pytorch training script and move it into tpu this is the first thing that uh, when you get the notebook so the first thing that you need to make sure is uh, the runtime you need to make sure that your runtime is tpu so you need to make sure that your runtime is tpu so you need to have tpu as runtime that's something that you need to make sure if it is not select tpu and then select save if it is then you are good to go okay so the next step is install data sets transformers because uh, on this tpu you may not have it and uh, install the pytorch xla uh, for using pytorch on uh, tpu and because the accelerate library we are using the latest development version we are installing it directly from github so data set transformers uh, pytorch xla for uh, using uh, pytorch on uh, tpu and then accelerate directly from their github development version once you have successfully installed i'm not going to go cell by cell of this uh, but i wanted to highlight um, you know the higher level uh, uh, like give you kind of a walk through where you can actually practice it yourself so this is the part where we are importing all the libraries i think probably i should um, zoom in a little bit like like i said uh, this this notebook is simply what hugging faces put together on their um, github uh, so you, you you yourself can check it but i'm just sharing it so now uh, import uh, all the um, classes that uh, you want the functions that you want uh, from respective libraries so you need tar uh, like a pytorch torch and then data loader and then you need uh, accelerator and uh, um, you need accelerator and uh, distributor type um data set for metric metric and then you need the optimizer um, we are going to perform classification and uh, tokenizer so all the things that you have there and for a progress bar so all the things that you usually need uh, and once you load everything so you can actually download any model checkpoint from the hugging face model hub uh, but in this example uh, that hugging face is put together we're going to look at bert based uh, case model so that's a model checkpoint so you you can define the model checkpoint here so this is the model checkpoint 
okay and uh, yeah so the next thing is um, like like they're saying at this step uh, if you are interested in only seeing how hugging face accelerator works you can actually skip these steps and then uh, you can um, you can go to the other steps but if you are interested in um, like this if you're interested in uh, um, seeing uh, like how to actually train uh, the like do the fine tuning then you can you know like uh, see these things as well so let me quickly show you this section and then we'll move on to the section the, the other section so first step is we want to load the data so they're loading glue data um, and once uh, we load the data little bit of data pre-processing and you can have a look at uh, like how the data structure looks so you have got an id you've got a label you've got sentence one and you've got sentence two and like just to again say it so they're loading blue and uh, mrpc data set once that is done uh, if you want to actually have a random look at the data set you can you could look at like this so you have got uh, the actual id and uh, like the random uh, the the original id in the original data set you have got uh, the label uh, and you have got uh, sentence one and sentence two so it's like uh, you know like to compare like if these two sentences are equivalent and then you can have a look at it so randomly so at this point you have uh, you have a sense of what the data looks like and now we are going to do uh, data pre-processing for us to do uh, training so you load the tokenizer and then um, so the model checkpoint has been already defined the um, bird case model so you do uh, from auto tokenizer quite simple again the api that you are already very familiar with and uh, if you want to see how it looks like you have an example of how it looks like using the tokenizer so you've got tokenizer you can actually tokenize and see how does it look once that is done um, probably uh, you can you know skip these things like again uh, like this is data preparation and um, Finally, uh, you are trying to convert uh, this into the torch format, uh, the PyTorch format. So whatever whatever we have done, so we are uh, trying to set our data set uh, into PyTorch format. So that's what the final step is. Once uh, that is done, now it is time for us to take a look at the model. So uh, the model, again, model from model checkpoint, from pre-trained, you are getting the model and once you have the model uh, so uh, like one one important point that uh, they have specified here is note that uh, the model that we are creating here here like at this point here is okay like google wants to confirm whether i am yes yes google i'm there please confirm i don't know how to confirm it but google i'm just there i was scrolling it yeah so the model that we are building in this section is just for debugging and uh, looking at how the model looks like but if we want to actually train it on tpu so we need a we need a you know training function and within that we have to use accelerator so so whatever we are doing here is going to actually go inside a training function so that's something that um, we would see so we are creating data loaders uh, and uh, we are just you know having a look at uh, how the output is and uh, then um, you know when you when you actually build the model so this is how your final accuracy is going to look like so this is just you know like for just testing purpose right now we are actually getting into the main task of uh, you know uh, how we want to fine tune the model and uh, finally after defining the function we are going to use notebook launcher to start uh, the training process so like we saw before at the start of the uh, uh, github so there are four things that we are going to do um, first is uh, specify the accelerator so first is specify the accelerator like this specify the accelerator and second is uh, accelerator prepare and uh, okay mm. specify the accelerator uh, accelerate prepare and then the third step is uh, loss backward like you can see uh, instead of loss backward you're going to use accelerator backward loss and then the final step is uh, you like all the predictions that you have done you are going to finally gather so initiate uh, the class prepare for um, you know uh, sending everything to different nodes or machines and uh, once you do that ma manage the um, loss uh, function and uh, finally get everything back and if you want to 
understand how the logging happens you can have a look at it like if you want to just simply print you can use accelerate print or if you want uh, any other logging you can use the logging um, functions here so this is the this is the sample function so whatever we saw in the previous section individually is what you see here uh, but with accelerator so like we said first step is accelerate and uh, the the next the next step like this is again for logging and use the, your data loader and then you know set your seed value and then uh, download the model like initiate the model and then initiate the optimizer and then accelerate prepare uh, ready to dispatch everything to you know specific um, machines and then set the hyper parameters and uh, finally uh, you have let me quickly see finally you so you you have uh, the progress bar and then finally i should show you um after the training yeah it's here i'm sorry so finally uh, you have accelerator dot backward loss um the loss and then uh, ultimately you gather everything back i'm just trying to figure out where is it yes it's here so finally you gather everything back so this is the same four step that we said initiate prepare um, and uh, loss and uh, gather so once that is done uh, we just you know print uh, the final evaluation metric value and how do you do this now because you have got you know bunch of uh, distributed machines got uh, or i should say like uh, distributed nodes different nodes like what do you do next and that is where this function is quite quite handy because um, now you the, now that you have specified a training loop or a function that can run on google uh, sorry that can run on tpu i think google tpu um probably i don't know uh, that can run on tpu uh, or multi gpu or whatever all these things and now how do you launch this job how do you start it so that's where notebook launcher comes into picture so from accelerate import notebook launcher and then launch notebook launcher of the function that you defined so whatever the training function that you just created i think the name of the function is called um, training function so use the training function and uh, use the training function and uh, yeah and then you define it and as you can see that uh, it shows launching a training on eight tpu cores and this is the function that it is running so i have run already the previous ones i just wanted to quickly show you how so it it takes 4 minutes 40 seconds uh, for for this to run everything so let me quickly run this and then show you how it starts but you can try it yourself uh, so i'm i'm very sure i'm pretty sure that uh, this may not have taken only 4 minutes on uh, on uh, on a single gpu and uh, you know like you like making sure that this is uh, happening on a tpu um, thanks to hugging face a team for putting together accelerate it's a very thoughtful uh, project especially given that uh, you know right now we started dealing with a lot of lot of lot of data and then many times whenever you want to do fine tuning or um, let's say like um, you are trying to do a training job a lot of times your free G, uh, free uh, ram uh, that uh, google collab gives uh, may not be sufficient enough um, and you know this this is this is really an amazing thing because uh, now you have got you like you got access to an entirely different beast and then uh, you can do a lot more things like whether it is on google collab or on kaggle notebook uh, so kaggle notebook also like if you are not familiar kaggle is also owned by google uh, a few years back they acquired it so kaggle notebook has very similar machine configuration like google collab uh, your biggest advantage on kaggle collab would be you leveraging the data set that is already available on kaggle uh, but if you're going to download it from model hub it doesn't really make any difference but uh, you can actually use this for um, kaggle competitions which um, uh, where you don't have any restrictions uh, to you know use a particular type of machine and you can actually see how fast this is happening so like the, the, how, how fast this task of uh, you know uh, training this model um, uh, fine I should say fine-tuning this model is happening from the model checkpoint that we downloaded and uh, yeah once this process is completed it would uh, it would print the evaluation metrics the final evaluation metrics while it is happening let me quickly go back and uh, go back and uh, show you so this is the this is the collab notebook that we just had a look at 
and there are a couple of requirements uh, so currently this repository or uh, this package accelerate has been tested with uh, Py python 3.6 plus and pytorch um, 1.4.0 uh, plus and so if you're if you're going to use um, uh, on your local machine probably the good the good way to do is create a virtual environment so that you can actually create uh, whatever is required and uh, there you can use accelerate as a cli tool as well so what we did now is we used accelerate as part of our python script but you can use accelerate as part of uh, as a cli as well um so uh, if, you, if you want to do that so this is how you do that accelerate config and uh, then you can set your options here like uh, like this and if you want to have a look at the example that we just did the same example where uh, you've got the glue data set on mrps uh, sorry mrpc data task uh, then um, then you can just do like this accelerate launch from the example so you have uh, the examples folder here so you have the examples folder uh, within this example folder that uh, you can you can look at the examples this so let me open it uh yeah so you have got a cv example you have got an nlp example i didn't see the cv example but the nlp example that we just looked at uh, that example can be used um, either on a uh, collab or on um, on on your local machine uh, with um, you know like a cla as well so you have examples of how to run this as well so you can have a look at it that that is uh, basically you know hugging face accelerate so let's quickly look at the result that we have got um so you can see that uh, the fn score um for like 0 0.82 0 0.86 0 0.87 so fn score has really really increased and we have done only three epoch but you can you know you can do it based on um, based on uh, how much time you have got how much resources you have got uh, you would have probably noticed while the process was going on the ram would have uh, probably hit uh, amber uh, like close to red so you have to just optimize those things but um, but a huge thanks to uh, the hugging face open source hugging face team for open sourcing this amazing library that can now bring new complete new possibilities for anyone who is trying to do nlp at least you know the customization task if you remember like a week ago uh, or like a couple of weeks ago hugging first was uh, hosting um, hosting a model uh, sprint uh, where uh, you were taking the wave to wake to model and then trying to customize it for the own language uh, I, I think uh, accelerate was not available for the users at that time but uh, imagine you have accelerate and then you can leverage tpu and then you have enormous potential this library is going to make the life of a lot of people much much easier and i i am definitely sure that this library is also going to help uh, in a lot of nlp model fine tuning uh, and um, for uh, especially like non english languages because now people have got access to the the base model